Hi, this is Iris the Vampiress. Um, I thought since I know last month was Autism Awareness Month and I know this is a little late, I thought I'd bring up video games or the Nintendo DS and 3DS that I own that are good education for people with autism or Asperger's Syndrome. Um, I've got Asperger's Syndrome personally, and yeah, please don't judge. But anyway, um, first off, I would like to bring up Pokemon Soul Silver or its alternate version, Pokemon Heart Gold version. I have Soul Silver only, and quite honestly, I would have to say Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold are great considering the fact that they teach dedication, teamwork, money management, and stuff like that, all while taking responsibility of your Pokemon, making sure that they're happy, making sure that they're healthy, and some of them even evolve due to friendship which is a nice feature if you're that dedicated also it comes with the pokey walker accessory i don't have the clip on just yet what is the pokey walker you ask i'm glad you are inquiring it is a pedometer where you can transfer your Pokemon to this nifty little device and you can walk with your Pokemon and every step you take the watts build up therefore your Pokemon gains experience and therefore turning into gaining levels. Now video gaming and exercise put together just to gain levels and get farther in the game eventually catch pokemon that are in the po or the pedometer and get items and stuff like that and unlocking new paths i say what a winning combination that is speaking of money management I would highly recommend Harvest Moon DS Grand Bazaar. Great game. You end up creating a farm for yourself. You grow crops. You get livestock through gaining money. Every weekend you end up having a bazaar which you raise money from selling your goods that you grow or that you obtain some of them you find lying on the ground so yeah if you're looking for money management type thing i would recommend it nintendogs plus cats now this is a 3ds game but as charles schultz once said the creator of the peanuts gang of Charlie Brown and Snoopy and them, I would have to say, like he once said, happiness is a warm puppy, and, well, what if it's virtual? Can you get the same feedback from playing a game with virtual puppies and cats? Well, I say yes, but not entirely, but it's good for smiles and good for fun. If you play it like a half hour each day, other than that, it'd be a it becomes redundant and overdone and you get tired of it but just the same you gotta love the cuteness involved with the puppies and the kittens to give you an idea aren't they so cute anyway if you're learning Japanese and you're a girl or maybe you just like these kind of games. This is Tokimeki Memorial Girls Side Double Pack. It comes with the first Love Plus and second season. I'm missing third story, but I will get it someday. This is a great dating sim. The girls are, I mean, sorry, the guys are really something. And I love the idea that I guess you can date the teacher or even date the principle. I know it sounds like a weird idea, but that has been the case with many Tokimeki Memorial games. 
Not sure about the original on PS1, but I know Toki Memo or Toki Mikey Memorial 2 had that. I forget her name. But anyway, great if you're learning Japanese or if you're a girl and you're looking for something that can teach you relationship skills or communication skills. On the subject of dating sims, I have New Love Plus and Love Plus Plus. Now, I've seen girls play this, even though you play as a guy who goes after Japanese schoolgirls, but, you know, to each their own. I'm friends with girls that play the game series, and I don't criticize, I don't care what your feelings are about it. I mean, it's great if you're lonely or if you're looking for something to do, if you need company, if you're learning Japanese, you struggle with relationship skills, and so on. And I will admit, these dating sims have really brought me out of my shell for what I used to be antisocial, and now thanks to these games, I am now more talkative around people in public. Plus, I'm learning Japanese as an otaku, so these are great. I even got the Japan—I mean, I even got a Japanese DSi LL Monica Takane design system. And my Japanese 3DS, which has vinyl skins of Love Plus. And another one I want to recommend if you're looking for something that involves learning math or even strategy, I would highly recommend any of the Yu-Gi-Oh! games. I know that sounds weird, but... The greater and less than of knowing which monster card is more powerful or what will destroy what and figuring out a strategy that can defeat just about any opponent and figuring out how to organize your deck so that you can be the most powerful duelist ever. Also, if you're trying to knock an opponent's life points down to exactly zero, it considers some careful math involved. I would highly recommend this game. It's a very rare and out of print copy. I got it before it went out of print, so I'm lucky to hold an, a copy. Another thing that I want to suggest, which I don't have copies of, are games like Mario Kart, because it teaches fine motor skills and motion um, motion feeling with, with steering or even turning the system, like in Mario Kart Wii, which are something that I know some people with autism struggle with. Also, I would recommend Mario Party because it teaches about turn basing. Anybody can win but still have fun, even if you lose teaches about turn-based things. So yeah, these are just all recommendations I have. I mean, I guess whatever you feel could add to this list, feel free to comment. Other than that, it's like I just showed you a handful of games that I have that I feel have helped me or could help others if you have a DS or a 3DS. Keeping in mind New Love Plus is for Japanese 3DS and Japan 3D games versus the US region ones. Well, there's a region lock which I know is awful and it basically means that if I put a Japanese 3DS game in a US re or 3DS then the problem is the system would brick and you're basically out of 150 or more dollars, which would be a real shame. Anyway, it's likewise the other way around, so I hope you enjoyed this video and feel free to comment your feedback or 
tell me if you've found any others that have helped and thanks for watching.